Yes, so we have drawn all the parts. We have the plate, the mat, the bracket, the bush and the pulley, and the bolt. So now we want to do an assembly drawing. And uh, we are going to have a front elevation, a section front elevation along these line XX. And then we have an end elevation. So let's start with the front elevation. So I'm going to uh, do an assembly of the front elevation. But now remember this is sectioned. So then what do we do? Let me first join these. Sorry. Together. So type J. Okay. So that copying these will be easy. So we say copy. On this end, this end. So this is where I'm going to do my assembly. So this is the front elevation. Then we have this. So before you even have this, okay, it's okay. So let's let's move this one here. So let's say move. Uh, let me use copy because we need this maybe copy from the center to the center like that escape now we're going to have this as hidden so let me trim since uh, we don't need the hidden details on the front elevation we're just going to do away with this okay and this part also. I don't need this part. Let me close uh, like a uh, put off this layer. The pulley. So not the pulley but the plate layer so that you can able to me delete that part and then I put it on again. So that is what we have. And then remember we need to have the bolts at these points. So let's have the bolts. The bolts. Sorry, not the bolts, but the nuts. So then we say copy from the center. This. To the center of this. Center. Then center again. And center again. Right. Okay. Then now we put up we put up the the brackets. So let me join this. Then say copy from the center. Then put it here. And use this to the center again. Another one here. So now uh, we are not going to see this, this part and this part. So we need to to hide them. Something of that sort, or rather trim them. Yeah. So to do that, let's close this one. The the nut. Yeah, so that we work on only these these uh these ones. So we are not going to see these this this one and this one. We try and bring back uh that one and then say trim twice. Nuts. 
with his mind here in my life. I have it. This was an offset of measure the distance from here to here. 12.5. Yes, it's an offset. So this will be eaten. So let me create another layer. So let me just show it for the sake of it. Then I select this one, this one, this line, this line. Then you say bracket hidden. Yes, so that is what I should get. So yeah, you can still have this these parts but hidden yeah so that will be also be okay so what is missing here is the push here but you cannot show it on this side and next we're going to have this part the end elevation so I'll copy this copy from here so we need to have two of these So the first one we're going to have it here and then the another one here but later on I'll I'll do a good so let's move move from here somewhere there so move from here, somewhere here, like that. Then next we need to have a center line. So let me just say center line. And shift right click mid between two points. I'm just trying to locate the center line. Then the second line is this the second point. And then you just move like that. Just to do that the same. Mm -hmm. Line command and shift mid between two points. So I'm trying to locate the center lines. Then after I've located the center lines, it will now be easy to to draw or rather bring up these other parts. So I'm going to start with the pulley. Let me join these parts first. So then I say copy on the new point here. Then I bring it to the new point. So I've tried move it to the midpoint, but it is good to confirm that we have indeed moved it to the midpoint. And how do you do that? Have a line, then get the center here, 
Let's see. 